CRHT here, and I am back with another reaction video. And today I'm going to be reacting to a type of video that I haven't reacted to a long time ago an MLP fanfic reading. And this is a recent one by Scribbler on her Scribbler Productions channel. This is this one's called Get Clean. And as far as the last part of the title, it says funny. So I bet this fic's going to make me laugh. Oh boy, I can't wait to check this out. This better be cute. <laughs> oh, and uh, when I looked at the thumbnail, it had to do with Rarity giving Applejack a bath. I bet this is going to be silly because Applejack doesn't take baths. Alright, uh, let's get this started, shall we? Oh, and um, before I start this video, um, I just wanted to let you know that um, last night at the concert, the country concert that I went to for my birthday, um, a girl in in the front of us was kicking up dust, and it kind of got in the back of my throat, so I'm drinking water to get rid of it. So I hope you guys don't mind if I drink t so much water during this video. Anyways, let's jump right in. Oh, um, let me, um, adjust the volume. Alright, I think it should be good. Ponytails. Red by Scribbler. Oh man, I love Scribbler's introduction. Excuse me. Nice little music. I have never been betrayed so gosh darn hard in all my life. That white and purple snake just snuck right up and bit me. I was just there at my apple stand, minding my own business like any good pony would. And then she comes. Yeah, Rarity. I thought she was my friend, you know? Because of all the magic of friendship and all that. And because of how we'd been friends for years by then. Through thick and thin and all kinds of trouble. I was as wrong as a simple farm pony ever could be. Oh, she sidled up to me all nice and calm like. Gave me a hug. She told me I had an odor to me. Which I didn't pay no mind to, since she's always saying things like that. But on that day... Something crawled up in a rarity's tail and put a burr on her butt. Because that day, for some reason, she had a mind to do something about it. Oh, Applejack! She asked me, all sweet and innocent-like. Have you ever considered coming along to one of our spa dates, dear? I stared at her, giving her the kind of look she deserved for a dumb question like that. Nope. If she was so waiting it's for just a response, me. Staring at Applejack, just too. splashed it in good long soapy while, water. I finally gave in. Oh, oh, Applejack, don't be silly. It will be wonderful. Nope. Now it was getting to her. That polite smile she was wearing started getting a mop thin. I think it would be a great experience for you. Nope. Well, her smile was gone now. Replaced by a slight frown and diamond hard eyes. In that case, I regret I simply must inform you that one, your mane is in dire need of maintenance, and two, you have begun to develop quite a <coughs> distinctive odor. Yeah, it's distinctive healthy. odor. Is that so? It's healthy for yep. farmers. Her eyes narrowed. It is not healthy, not for you, nor anyone around you. I just shrugged and went back to counting my apples. Not that they needed counting or such. Just something to do while I waited for Rarity to get bored looking at me like that. Uh, what's well, happening to Applejack's tail? I counted a hundred apples. Probably a couple hundred, my lost count. She was still there. I tried my darndest to ignore her, but I just couldn't. I figured she was what was making me lose count so much. Rarity, are you done yet? You're scaring off my customers. It's not me scaring them off, Applejack. It's your scent. Oh, well, <laughs> well then, the there scent. There's plenty of ponies around before you came. She stared at me, and I sure didn't like the way she was looking at me. You need a bath. <laughs> nope. And you are going to get one. I'd like to see you try. 
One of her well, eyebrows slowly rose. Really like, does have magic, so playing. she can pick Applejack up. You'd like to see me try, oh? I'll take that as an invitation. You wouldn't dare. Yeah, don't even do it, Rarity. Rarity's grin grew wider. Oh, wouldn't I? Her horn began to glow. Much to my consternation, all four of my hooves lifted up off the ground as she held me up in the air. Rarity, you put me down right now. Uh, nope, she said in a terrible imitation of my accent. Holding me along with her like I was no more than a sack of flour, she began trotting off toward the edge of town. Not the edge of town where Sweet Apple Acres was, the other edge of town. I screamed and I kicked and I raised as much ruckus as I could. I raised a fracas too in case Pinky hears about this, but it was no good. I could hear chattering in the background. The darn unicorn had a good grip of me with her cheater magic and every pony who saw me just laughed. Still feel not resentful about all that laughing to be honest. Is the bath really that embarrassing? Once we got clear of the edge of town, I could see where she was taking me. Yep. And it Her sure routine. didn't look good. Out in the grassy field, just outside of town, there was a wooden wash bucket already set up full of water. Soap bubbles all over the top of it. Now, I thought I was struggling as mightily as I could already, but that were a nothing compared to what I did when I saw that bucket. Oh, calm down, Applejack. It's just a little soap and water. It isn't going to hurt you. Goodness. Behind it, I I kicked at her point ahead, but I couldn't reach it. This is assault and kidnapping and harassment and the uh, harassment like and the whole heap of other things too, probably. She stopped and looked back at me, a big grin on her face as she magically held me above the soapy water. Oh, I know. That's why I took the time to petition for a preemptive pardon from Princess Twilight. Twilight's in on this. Don't Twilight. Gorns. She can't do that. Oh, yes, she can. She's a princess now. She started lowering me toward the water. Unlimited royal authority to grant pardons. It don't count when you get pardoned ahead of time. She can't give you permission to do crimes. I looked down at the approaching water. Okay, okay, I give up. Just please don't do this. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. You could have had a wonderful day at the spa if you had agreed to my first offer. Please, Rarity. I'll do anything. Just don't put me in that... My hooves touched the water. No! Without any further ceremony, she dunked me all the way in, making it slosh over the edge. It was so wet and so cold. How could she do that to me? I tried to struggle and jump out of the water, but she was still holding on to me with her magic. The only thing all my wiggling was good for was to make a bunch more water slush out. Rarity's magic brought up a hairbrush and a coat brush. How could she do all that and still put in all the strength she needed to hold me in the darn tub? I don't know. I yelled and I hollered and I kicked and struggled, but it were no use. Her brush was a work in my hair and her scrubber was a work all over my body. Rubbing out all the health is sweat and dirt in it. She was maliciously washing me against my will. And there was nothing, nothing I could do about yeah, it. Yeah, nothing at all. All my commotion... Ready to finish with her magic at times. Rainbow Dash flitted down from the clouds and landed on a nearby tree, watching us, her face full of curiosity. Rainbow! <coughs> I yelled out to her. <coughs> the dunk in the tub cut me off, but I popped right back up. Help! Rarity's gone crazy! <coughs> I go dunked again. <coughs> Crazier than usual! Get help! Get Big Macintosh! <coughs> Rarity's magic alone weren't enough to hold me back no more. Now she had to use her hooves too. Rainbow sat in the tree branch, perched like a feather brain bird for a moment. But that's you're just lazy. Then she hopped back up in the air, laughing as if it were the funniest thing she ever did see. Rainbow! This is serious! She just laughed harder. Eventually, I'm ashamed to say, I gave in to despair. There were no hope for me. As much as I hated to think about it, I was gonna be. Remember that's just such a jerk. She went on and on. You let the boy play evil get unicorn. Soaked. Okay, all evil. Scrubbed and scrubbed until I figured I didn't even have any fur left. Then she scrubbed some more. Finally, 
And I'm saying, this took hours. She hauled me out of that tub and dropped me off with a blast of magic that made me feel all tingly and uncomfortable. She set me down on the ground, letting Rainbow and herself admire all the things they'd done to me. Doesn't she look marvelous when she's groomed? Rainbow came a little bit closer. At least she smells better. I had a plan, though. A cunning plan. I was eyeballing the mud puddle all my splashes of made around the bucket. Rarity, release me. There, Applejack. Don't you feel better now? Rather I than don't answer think a so. dumb question, I jumped forward, landed square in the middle of the mud. I didn't waste one bit of time in dropping down and rolling to my heart's content. When I finally got up, I was so covered, no pony could have even guessed what color my coat was. It wasn't my hard-earned sweat and dust, but at least I wasn't, ugh, clean. Rainbow and Rarity were watching me, and they sure weren't amused. Both of them were splattered with little bits of mud from where I jumped. I grinned at them and made to run off before they could catch me again and get the idea of re-washing me. Rarity? I heard Dash say as I sped off. You owe me a spa day. Okay. I didn't hear what Rarity said, but she nodded. And both of them headed off to the south side of town, where the spa was. Myself, I ran clear back to Sweet Apple Acres without the slightest bit of hesitation. My apologies for any foals I terrified along the way. I'll make sure and tell them there ain't no such thing as a mud monster yeah. pony. There's no such thing as mud monsters. And that, your highness, is why I want Twilight Sparkle, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash thrown in jail. At least for a spell. Princess Celestia stared down at Applejack, at the train okay, of the hoof prints leading into her throne That's room. That's a little too far. When she had seen Applejack's name on the supplicant list for the day, she had hey, hoped that she could get a good break princess. from the insane, crazy requests of her subjects. No such luck, it would seem. We will take it under consideration. Rippin' Sean! Of course, Applejack would be Scribbler. And Kate Bug is Rarity. Kinda like the Western music. So basically, I. Oh! Uh, of course. You know, ever since my school year started, she. She started dedicating these, like. All those fanfic readings to her dog, Suki, which died a year ago. So this fic was about Applejack getting a bath by a rarity, but she doesn't really want to. Yeah, rarity just grabs it with a magic and starts scrubbing out Applejack until she's clean. And then, at the end... Applejack got dirty again! <laughs> yeah. One thing. Nobody gives Applejack a bath. I love her just the way she is. She's she's dirty, she's sweating, and because she's a farmer. Farmers don't take baths. That's the number one rule of farming. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and avoid!